Do 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 do. I eat game. Yeah. Hey, partners, Mark here, and we are hunting the legendary white bison near Isabella Lake in the far west side of the Grizzlies. And um, if you would like to hunt legendary animals, first you must complete the mission Exit Pursued by a Bruised Ego with Hosea. Once you do that, you'll be able to hunt them all. Once you go into a location where there is an animal, you'll see a faint question mark um, on your map. And you have to be within the distance, I think, for it to sort of pop up. But you got to look for it. Um, and um, it's also on the mini map. That's that. This is the location where I found mine. I'm uh, hunting the bison, and um, you can see it's it's really faint. But you will know when you're entering a zone where the bison is because you will see right up there legendary animal territory. Ignore the bottom part about the too much activity. Um, and so go inspect the area. And if you look in the bottom right, it says inspect, hit a button. I think that's really easy to miss. I walked past it a couple times wondering why something didn't pop up. Um, like in the center of the screen. Anyway, once you inspect it, it starts tracking the animal. If you look in the bottom right, you'll see it there. And plus we got the flashing track. Now, we can take our time. We don't have to rush this too much. The animal is moving, um, but we want to make sure we do this right. You definitely don't hop on the horse like I just did. That's a really bad idea. Now remember, if you're hunting and you lose, you lose the trail, click in both controller sticks and then you will find something like that, like the little yellow glittery stuff. And that is to tell you, that it's another clue you need to hunt down the animal. So be sure you look for that stuff because it's really important. In my case, it was bison dung. And then the tracking starts again. So we follow the trail. And I don't think I'll speed things up here. And you can see a track there. We're gonna keep going. And when it gets dead, again, you wanna use eagle eye. Maybe we have some dung. So using eagle eye, where do we go from here? There's the trail right there. So we're gonna start following that trail. And it just so happens, if you look up there, there it is, the great white bison. So cool. Okay, so once it's in your line of sight, you wanna be really careful. So definitely walk, do not run, do not be on your horse, crouch. And also you kinda of wanna make sure you're downwind from it or at least not upwind from it. Now, I am taking my time because I do not want to scare it. Also, you can see right here, the wind, you can see that my scent is going um, going the other way and not towards the animal, which is what we want. So, as we get closer, we want to wait till we get close enough to study the animal. So, do not pull R2 because that will shoot your gun and that will be sad. Hit R1 and we will be able to study the animal. Remember, you gotta squeeze left trigger to bring your gun up. Now when we study it, now we have access, it's entered into the compendium, but more importantly down below, you can see, use a large scoped rifle for a clean kill. Well, it will tell you what you need to do, rifle or the weapon and the ammo to kill it, to get a clean kill. But what's interesting is I had a double barrel shotgun. <laughs> I didn't have a scope. Um, so I don't know, I guess it wasn't a clean kill, but you'll see here that it worked really well. But I am still slowly sneaking up. There's my double barrel shotgun. I sneaked up. And I wasn't sure if this is gonna work, but it's the only weapon I had, so I just figured I'm just gonna go for it. But you wanna use dead eye and hit it right in the head, right in the brain. You wanna get the critical spots. And I think that was my saving grace as I hit it. And it didn't die instantly, but it bled out. And so there we go. I think I got, I think I, there's definitely some luck that played here because, ah, uh, I feel I feel bad here. Oh, those noises make, <laughs> it's kind of sad, but we're gonna get pretty cool stuff from it. So um, there you can see you've killed a legendary animal, sell, to, sell the pelt to the trapper who will then craft a unique outfit for you. Oh, and wait till you see this outfit. <laughs> This outfit is so wacky that even the NPCs were making comments about it. You'll see that later. So um, yeah, don't don't stay on your horse. Um, that will make things harder. Let's go ahead and put the pelt on the back of the horse and get rid of the other one. And now we got to go see the trapper. Now the trapper is in, is in St. Dennis in the marketplace. I had never been there. Um, I was kind of staying away from the city because I understand there's a narrative like reveal 
but I wanted to make this video and um, decided I would just go for it. And it's a long trek. If you, I, I had to get on my horse and I had to go. But if you know, if you have a way of getting there faster, whether it's through carriage or train, if you can do it, go for it. But we need to get back there. You can see the trapper is in the very back of St. Dennis. So I rode, I rode my horse, had a good time, got to see some new stuff. And I went through like the back side I didn't want to go straight through the city. And here we are at the market. So go ahead and um, let's go ahead and get the horse tied up. And the trapper is, once you enter from um, from the entrance, from the front side, not the back side, but from the front side, the trapper's right up here on the left. He's actually right near the front, which is nice. There he is. So let's go ahead and head over there. And... You can see this is the trapper. He buys whole animal skins, furs, hides, and feathers. He can also craft various clothes items from the animals and pelts you sell him. Now, if you die and you have the pelt on you, don't worry, because that pelt is still going to appear here. You won't be able to sell it for money, like I'm about to do right here, but you will get credit for it, because there's only one of those animals in the world. Just one. So if it dies, that's it. It's not coming back. So the game will give you credit and you will be able to do this stuff. You just won't get the money for it. So it's really important. Okay, so now that we sold it, the Trapper can now use legendary white bison pelt to craft garments. So let's go ahead and do that. So if in the bottom, it's going to be buy, not craft. We're going to buy. And it's garment sets. And in here is all like the legendary uh, garment sets from all the animals. But you can see at the bottom, the ghost bison set, that's... <laughs> <laughs> that's uh that's the one and so if you look this can be confusing so i have two pelts that's how much it's worth and it says i need one legendary white bison pelt but they see that number two that means i actually have my pelt is worth like two two pelts and i need one for each recipe one for the hat and one for the coat it's a little weird because i don't think I, it explains it too well but let's get the coat and we need one more and you can see we have one left <laughs> look at his face <laughs> He's so sad. Well, you know what, Arthur? We're going to get it because it's just way too awesome. There we go. <laughs> oh, gosh. And so all we have left now, uh, all we have to do now is go see the fence. And the fence is the guy. Wait, listen to this guy. So people are commenting on how ridiculous he looks, which is just great. And a guy, another guy says something right here. But anyway, so I had to, so because it was so late, everybody closed down, including the fence. So it's nighttime now. I actually had to go sleep and come back. So anyway, I'm back here at the trapper. But you can see the fence is, he's located in the same area. Um, and so let's go ahead and head over there to the fence. Uh, also, if you, like me, got got there really late and you need to like, sleep you have to head outside of the city limits you can't set up camp inside city limits i know that seems probably very obvious but for some people it might not be so let's head over to the fence and so the fence what he does is he takes like claws and the horns and the teeth from the legendary animals and he turns them into um like trinkets necklaces those kinds of things so let me show you what i mean so if you go to craft down here you can see a list of like all the special stuff. There's the beaver tooth, all that. But we're gonna head down to the bison horn talisman. You can see there's other things I need. I need a shell fragment and a silver earring. I don't have that stuff, so I can't craft it now. But you, you can. Um, hopefully you have that stuff. By the way, don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. It does help me out quite a bit. That's about it. I hope this guide has helped you out. Thanks, guys.